They told me I was no different than a pedophile and murderer. That they hope I'm miserable until God convicts me. My mom still prayers that I will die because it's better I die than live in sin. My dad exploded when I told him I thought I was ace. He believes it's sinful to not be constantly ready to have sex with your husband. But it would kill I wish family. I didn't need to go she through take it. it to the and she was crying it's and extra. asking why and this saying that she didn't right think left. she could handle she was more threatening disappointment. Suicide. Share your stories. Coming out to conservative slash religious parents and family. Don't miss out on the fun. Hit subscribe button and join our community for more stories like this one. I came out at 28. Was still single. Had always been single. Was raised deep in Christian fundamentalism. I came out while still a Christian myself. First, to my close friends, then to my church, who kicked me out. Then a bigger group of people who 90% distanced themselves. Then finally after nearly a year, to my parents. The initial conversation was over the phone. For my safety, it went, Hi, wanted to let you know, I'm gay. Them. We know, and we're sorry to hear you're okay in your sin. And they hung up. A few days later, they called me again, and I foolishly answered. They told me I was no different than a pedophile and murderer. That they hope I'm miserable until God convicts me. And that they did not want to be involved in my life. They are heartbroken I would do something that would force them to not be in my life. I saw them a few weeks later and it went no better. Lots of screaming. Lots of getting in my face. Telling me I never loved them and have only ever lied to them. My mom still prayers that I will die because it's better I die than live in sin. I guess that qualifies as the ugly. That was five years ago and yet it feels like a lifetime. We obviously have an incredibly strained relationship. I only see them when there's a major life event with my siblings, and they call for a minute or two on my birthday every year. I'm now married to the most incredible woman. She's so kind, gentle, and wonderful. We have a big happy gay life with the two dogs and a large chosen family. We travel the world together and both work in very fulfilling careers. I thought it would be sad to not have either of our parents at our wedding, she was raised very similarly, but honestly, it was so peaceful. TBH, I don't think about them very much. I have no intention of ever healing the relationship. It still hurts, but I have come to accept. They loved me the best they could, which was not very much. My life is a lot more peaceful on the other side of all of it in a way I never expected. I wish I didn't need to go through it, but the life on the other side is so beautiful. I found out about a year ago from my brother that my mom brags about herself in my coming out story. That she's so much better than her parents would have ever been, her father was known for saying, he prayed someone would take a dump trunk through a pride event. That her parents would have thrown me out and disowned me, so I should be glad I wasn't their child. That sickened me more than anything else. To know she's literally proud of herself. I came out to my mom, typical conservative Christian, around 10 years ago. She was shocked and didn't believe me at first. I was just stopping by her house on my way home from work. I can't remember the reason, but I decided it was time so I sat her down and told her while I was there. I kept it very brief and then went home. She was civil, but I could tell she was very upset. Later that night, I got a barrage of texts from my stepdad asking how I could do this to her and telling me that after I left, she was threatening suicide. It's important to note that I only have one sibling, a brother, who is also gay, and he came out a few years before I did. Well, anyway, things were very tense and I had many arguments with my stepdad, who was arguing on my mom's behalf. Over the years, things have gotten better and way more civil. My mom and stepdad buy Christmas presents for my partner and ask how she is doing. But there are always going to be things left unsaid, on both our ends. They truly believe my lifestyle is wrong and is a choice, and I'll never be able to convince them that this is just who I am. We were never really close before, and we are even more distant now. But, like I said, the 10 years since has healed a lot of things between us. We are always just going to be very different people, living very different lives, only coming together a few times a year for special occasions. Edit to add, you got this. It may be uncomfortable or painful, and I hope for your sake, it is neither of those things. 
But regardless, this is your life and your path. You get to finally be free. I do hope that it enlightens your family, and maybe they become a little more accepting of others out of love for you and who you are. Long post. Started questioning sexuality last spring at age 28. Discovered asexuality first, then read the lesbian master doc. Determined I was into women and not men last fall, which is when I told my family. My mom was shocked and said why would you want to lick other women's privates? Is that what you want? To link vaginas? I told her that was a very limited view and that I like women overall and would prefer a woman for my life partner and have no desire to be with a man. She was stunned and just kept saying, she disagreed with me and believes it's sinful and not good to choose to live in sin. I told her, I wasn't choosing the way I feel about people. If I did, I would have preferred to avoid all these 10 years of painfully confused marriage, trying to force myself to be something I'm not. Why would I choose to take the hard path here? Though I am very, very happy to have discovered this truth. Definitely not mad about it. I called later to check on her, and she was crying and asking why, and saying that she didn't think she could handle more disappointment. My sister recently divorced her husband as well, who was abusive, but my mom liked him for some reason. My sister never told our mom about how he treated her, so mom thought she left him for no reason. Anyway, I still value my faith, and told her as much. I believe, it is not a sin to love another woman, and get married, and live a lovely life together. We had a theological discussion. She agreed to listen to some videos I sent her. She agreed to disagree. I hated seeing how torn up she was. I later told her I was probably asexual and not really sexually into women but just felt more comfortable with them. She said not everyone needs to know everything about my personal sexual life, and that she would like if I could keep it to myself. There is some truth to this, that I think I am a spectrum, but honestly the more I allow myself to be attracted to women, the more attracted I realize I feel sad so I may not ultimately be ace and wish I hadn't said that to her, but based on our conversation I think, I'll just keep my discovery to myself and my friends. I will live my life as I want, and she can react to my decisions as they happen. Our relationship is fine aside from that. We disagree on things, and that's okay with us. We just don't talk about that topic. I'm sad, she didn't support me but I'm grateful she at least engaged with me about it, and watched what I sent her. She, I believe, is asexual based on what she's told me, but just prefers everyone's sex lives to be their own business. I can respect that. Based on her reaction, I still think this is something she may soften up on over time. My dad. Exploded when I told him I thought I was ace. He believes it's sinful to not be constantly ready to have sex with your husband. My poor mother has been in intense arguments with him. They live together still, and are still married. She just does what she wants, and doesn't do what she doesn't want to do, and doesn't care if he's mad or frustrated. Not really healthy, but that's her life. So, anyway, I haven't mentioned that I like women to him. I probably won't directly for a while. I like my relationship with my dad. We have a lot of similar interests, but his views on women suck. He is currently processing and working through this, which I'm glad for. He had two daughters and now has to process his inner conflict between loving his daughters and realizing they are not being his idea of an ideal Christian wife and realizing that there's trauma involved in forcing a woman to do things she doesn't want with her body, he is working on things at his own pace and I'm giving him the space to take this journey. I will talk about these things if he brings them up, but otherwise our conversations will be all about video games and plants and Japanese aesthetic. My sister was fantastic and so proud of me. She will be taking me to a pride parade this year, just the two of us. My first one? She and my two friends are my support system in addition to this subreddit. LOL. So I'm in my 40s was married for 8 years to a man, and I always wear my hair super short. I accidentally jacked up the color and rather than spend 6 hours trying to fix less than an inch of hair, I buzzed it. My mom said to me that, people will think I am gay, if I keep cutting my hair so short. I asked her what if I was. After some mean worthy looks back and forth, I said that I was. Her response. She's fine. Then days of silence, and a seeding phone call that it would kill the family, she will take it to the grave, etc. This was three months ago. Both my parents and my in-laws, married to a man. 
in a poly relationship with a woman, are very Catholic. My mom took it well, although she was more concerned for my son that I was pregnant with. She, luckily for me, is a very warm-hearted, loving person and just wanted me happy. My dad took a few days to think on it, then invited me over for a chat. I sit down and I shit you not, he sits down and whips out a yellow legal pad, filled with pages and pages of research. He then concluded, with it's my life and I can do what I want. My parents made it clear from the beginning, that they loved me, but my girlfriend would not be welcome at family holidays and what not. Six years later and she came in our family vacation, and is at every holiday. It took some time, but now she's a fully accepted member of my family. My in-laws, however, are too conservative to even entertain the idea. My mother-in-law still, to this day says, I'm confused about my sexuality. And how my husband would be better off leaving me. They refuse to even acknowledge it, aside from throwing Bible verses at us and telling me I'm condemning myself and their son and grandson to hell. That's always uplifting. It definitely fractured our relationship with them. But hey, at least my family is pretty great now. All in all, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. There's nothing better than being true to yourself. It's nerve-wracking as hell to broach that conversation, but at some point, you have to rip the band-aid off. Just make sure you keep yourself safe in the process. I was married to a man twice, but the first one was abusive, so I don't count that one, since there's no way it could have been a successful marriage. I grew up as a pastor's kid, so there was a lot of shame and guilt for being attracted to women, and I ignored that part of me until my late 30s. I finally came out to myself about a year ago, and told my parents last December. Ironically, it was easier to tell my dad, and he was much more accepting than I thought he would be, considering he was a pastor for so long, now retired and still very much believes in Christianity. I told my mom later that same day and she was very confused and almost angry. Her argument was that I had married men, so why did I think I was gay? I told her, I've always been attracted to women, but was taught that it was wrong and bad, so I didn't acknowledge it, and tried to be, normal, where their normal means straight. The worst part of coming out to them was the realization that I hadn't been my true self for so long, because of the fear of disappointing my parents and their God. But then, when I came out to them, there was no punishment and nothing bad happened. I'm sure my mom still disapproves, but I've never been close with her anyway, so that's no loss. I pretended to be straight for 30 plus years, and wasted so much time, and all for nothing. I chose to focus on the good instead. I found the woman I'm going to marry, we are building our little family, and I'm happier than I've ever been. I wish you the best of everything in your journey. It was like ripping off a band-aid for me. One quick conversation, then off to live my best gay life, and I hope you get to experience all the happiness you deserve. Okay, this is mainly the bad and the ugly, with a bit of the good at the end. Too long? Don't read. My dad got extremely angry, yelled at me, and basically said I was dead to him. That was Sept 2022, and we've barely talked since. Never married or had kids, but I came out to my conservative, non-religious, parents when I was 31. You could say they're conservative in the political sense, but they were never, like, overly socially conservative or religious, Canadian, for context. That said, I always knew my dad was homophobic, he was constantly making horrible comments for as long as I can remember. Things like, nobody wants to see that about gay men, it's only okay if they're hot, about gay women. When I was in university, the leader of the provincial government was lesbian, liberal party, so already he hated that, and he would exclusively refer to her as the dyke. He said the wedding of some of my gay friends wasn't a real wedding. All that type of stuff, just to paint a picture. Coming out to my mom was fine, she said she had suspected for a while I really had only had one semi-serious BF in all my twenties. She was generally very supportive and our relationship didn't change at that point. Then I came out to my dad, over video call, we live in different countries now. He initially reacted disgusted, made a comment about, I don't want to know that. All in, it was not as bad a reaction as I thought he'd have. Then a week later, when I was talking to my mom, he stormed in, and went on an angry yelling fit. Said a lot of awful things, and ultimately hit me with a, you're dead to me, type line. This was last September, and I haven't talked to him much since then. I'm the months following, 
My mom went from being sympathetic of how hurt I was to telling me to just get over it and talk to him again. Meanwhile, he still very obviously had made zero progress in changing his tune. My partner moved in with me in October and he still considers her my roommate. He made a comment to my sister that, why can't she just be with a man instead? I never expected my 65-year-old dad to change his mindset overnight, but I did hope, for a speck of progress, that he was trying. I don't believe that has happened at all. Truthfully, I don't expect to have a good relationship with him again. Our relationship had already changed significantly in 2020 and 2021, due to his opinions on COVID and how the government handled it. If you heard anything about the Ottawa convoy stuff last year, he was in full agreement with them. It got so bad with the COVID things that he would yell at me for anything he didn't like, like everything Trudeau did was my fault, because I voted for him once. He had said so many hurtful things to me during all that, that by the time I came out to him I already viewed our relationship so differently, it didn't hurt as much as it would have in the past. But it has obviously hurt me and still does. I've noticed I have intensified anxiety issues since this shit all went down. While I think I previously had a bit of manageable anxiety, I've received a diagnosis recently for generalized anxiety disorder. Thankfully my partner is the most amazing person ever, and her family is so loving and welcoming, and just like immediately made me feel like part of their family. I'm so thankfully to have a good support system outside my own blood relatives. And honestly, I'm so thankfully I didn't have to deal with his reaction when I was younger. I can't imagine how much bigger the impact would have been if he had said those things to me when I was in my 20s or a teenager. Both my parents are pretty conservative, and I grew up in the church. I got married, and then divorced after a couple years, he cheated. I dated here and there, but it kinda came to the front during my last relationship. I was dating this really sweet boy, and my mom could tell that something was wrong, I was clearly unhappy, and she was trying to help me. She said to me, just tell me what's wrong. And I told her, I think I don't like men. She was shocked I think, but immediately told me she still loved me. Honestly, I know that I'm lucky considering how conservative my parents are, but they have always believed that being gay is not a choice, so they really seem fine with it all. Although my mom did try the, maybe you just haven't found the right man thing, but it was more out of concern than her own desires I believe. I told her, that I don't need to be fixed, and she apologized, I know how she is, it was okay. Plus the other day, for Easter, she bought me rainbow jelly beans, which probably sounds really silly, but it meant a lot to me. Subscribe and hit the bell button for the best Reddit stories available.